Hi, my name is Roger. How are you doing? At the end of this video, I'm going to announce a competition where you can win a great prize. So stick around for that. And we're going to ask ourselves, what is a genre? And is there really a thing that is called genres? I would say that when it comes to compositions, no. Genres don't exist. And I can prove it to you. So what is a genre? In a composition, genres don't exist. No, they don't. A song contains of five elements. We've got the melody, most often performed by the vocals, of course, but it could be an instrument as well. The harmony, the chord structure, or how the notes perform together. The lyrics, well, if there's an instrumental song, there's not going to be much of the lyrics, are there? I would say that the title of the song is a kind of a lyric, because that defines what the song is about, what kind of mood the song suggests. The rhythm, or the groove, or the beat, or whatever you might call it. Well, the first thing you think about is probably drums and percussion, but it could also be the strings in a symphony orchestra accompany the winds, for example. All kinds of rhythm. And the sound. And the sound is pretty complex, because the sound is how you've produced it and mixed it, but also what kind of instruments you have and the arrangement. Sound could also be orchestration or instrumentation. A composer for symphony orchestras think a lot about sounds, but in terms of instrumentation. Should the bassoon play this part, or the French horn, or the cello? Also, some instrumentations could define what genre it is, because if you put a banjo and a fiddle and a pedal steel, you are thinking about country and western music directly. If you put some bagpipes in it, you're thinking about Scotland, don't you? Sound is only one category, but so many things. Maybe you focus on one or two elements more than the others in a composition. Maybe, let's say, Bob Dylan would focus more on lyrics and melody than the rest of the elements to make his songs. Some other may focus on melody and harmony. In EDM, for example, maybe they focus more on the sound and the rhythm than the rest of the categories. The two last of those elements, the rhythm and the sound, defines the genre and also the performance. But the composition, no. You could have the same song, the same composition, performed by Metallica, a string quartet, and uh, Ziggy Marley, and they would sound totally different. They would sound in different genres, even though it's the same song. In music all over the world, the music have the same building blocks, and that's notes and rhythm. That's what we have to play with. I have made a song out of my intro tune, which sounds like this. The only thing I know If we take that song apart, we have the melody and the lyrics. To that, we put some harmonies. To make it interesting, we make a riff performed by a bass and a guitar in this case. Suddenly, we have a structure for the rhythm as well. I have recorded a few more versions of that song. Let's see if we can define them in the same genre or not. 
Now we're at my computer and I will show you the different styles I have recorded this song in. Remember that the song is still the same song. It's the same composition. You have already heard the sort of original version, but let's listen to a part of it once again. The only thing I know And so on. You have heard it already. Let's listen to the next version and see if you can uh, define this as a genre. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. Everywhere I go, I will start to run before. Yeah, the third version sounds like this. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. Everywhere I go, oh, I will start to run. Remember, it's the same song, just recorded and produced differently. The fourth version sounds like this. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. Everywhere I go, oh, I will start to run before I go. Hmm? I have two more verses. The fifth sounds like this. also tell you that all of these versions have the same chords, the same key, the same time signature, and the same tempo. All are in E minor and all are 120 BPM. The sixth and last version sounds like this. The only thing I know So there you have it, my six versions of the same song. All in the same tempo, all in the same key, all in the same time signature. Please let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. And now for the competition where you can participate and win a great prize. So the Roger That Song competition of 2021. I want you to record a version of this song. You can record it with whatever instruments you like, with or without the vocals. 
You can change the harmony, the time signature, the key, the tempo to your liking. Don't change the melody though. Keep the composition as is, but make it your own. All will be linked down below, so you get all the information you need to participate in this competition. And I'm hoping that you are going to send in your version of the song. The competition will end the 15th of February, and I will announce the winners February 22. And what do you win? The three most creative and exciting versions of the song will get this plugin for free. Hand Clap Studio, a plugin I use myself. I think it's great. And I will show you the plugin in a future video. So that's it, folks. Thank you for watching. If I should make some conclusion of this genre thing, let's say that a song is a body. The flesh and blood and the skeleton is the composition. Then you put some clothing on it, and the clothing could be so different. That is the genre, at least for me. Maybe you don't agree, but then let me know. Maybe there's things that I haven't thought about. The Swedish word of today is t-shirt. In Sweden, we say t-shirt, but actually we should say teatroja. Teatroja. I wrote you that. Uh, uh, one more thing. Just send your contribution to the contest. Do it. Do it now. Just, just do it.